Paralympics. Promises to be a very fast race, this one. The track has been outstanding. T47 category for those affected by an upper limb deficiency, impaired muscle power and impaired passive range of movement. In lane eight, from Brazil, Fernanda Yara da Silva, bronze in the 2019 Para Pan American Games, over 200, and this distance of 400. Suji Sai, bronze in Rio in 2016, bronze as well in London in 2017, backing that one up. Reigning champion Lee Lu. Also the world champion in 2017, silver in 2019. Also the reigning Asian Paragames champion over this distance. Anastasia Solovayeva, the European champion, having won in Bidigosh. She was just out of the medals in Dubai two years ago, finishing in fourth position. Current world champion, then Runa Vayers. She took silver in 2012 and 2016 at London and Rare, respectively. She'll be looking to hope for better in Tokyo 2020. 19 years of age. Might lack experience, but she's certainly got pace and speed. Vera Andrade of Venezuela. Bronze in the World Championships in Dubai. And the 18-year-old from Australia. Alessa Jordan. Last but not least, from Chile, fourth in 2016, silver in the Parapan American Games, Amanda Scherner of Chile. Away nicely at the first time of asking, and Vera Andrade has got away to a very quick start. She's already up on the shoulder of Anrune Veyers, who's the reigning world champion. Solaveva looking good out there as well in lane six, but it is Vera Andrade and Veyers who, at the moment, when they come up to that 200 metre mark, should have the lead when they come around that bend. Solaveva's running a very good bend so far. She's looking very good, is the European champion. And it is a race in three at the moment. It is Zolaveva, Veyers and Vera Andre, the 19-year-old. It is Anrune Veyers, the reigning world champion. She took silver in London in 2012. She took silver in Rio four years later. She's heading for gold in Tokyo 2020. It's a battle for the silver. But it is South Africa's Arune Veyers who's going to take the win in a time of 56.05 seconds. Vera Andre picks up the silver. And Solaveva, the European champion, looked as though she had picked up that bronze. It was a tough old contest. Fayez picks up the win. Vera Andre with a lifetime best of 57.32 does claim second position. And it is Solaveva, the European champion, who claims that bronze medal. But it's a season best, 56.05 for that lady there from South Africa. And Runa Veyers. Vera Andre, 19 years of age. She'll have plenty of time left to improve on a silver and head for a possible gold in Paris in 2024. 
Hugs all around. Well done. Congratulations. Oh, nice sporting spirit there from Anruna Vayas going around to all of her rivals to congratulate them on the race that they ran. And Vera Andrea certainly threw down a big challenge. And uh, Vayas had to respond and did more than enough. What a champion. Well, she got away to a good start, but it was Vera Andrade and her inside the Venezuelan who got away to the fastest start of all and really came up on the shoulder of Vaz. But 400 metres is all about holding your composure and not worrying too much if someone goes flying past because it's a very long race, although it appears as if it's short and under a minute and it takes a lot out of people. 28-year-old and Rune Vaz from Cape Town. She's a school teacher. She'll be able to teach her school children something about running. There's no doubt about that. Almost with the tears as she goes across the line, she realizes what she's done. She's finally, at the third attempt, picked up that gold medal she so desperately wanted to make her the world and Paralympic champion. I just thought the tactics from Vera Andrade were pretty clear. She wasn't going to finish this race wondering if she had anything left. She went so hard so early that uh, she came up alongside Vaz, who, who had the composure not to panic when Vera Andrade appeared on her shoulder. Well, yeah. she had decided to quit the sport, but she came back 